One might think that I feed this dog or not, but he, he seems rather drawn to grass of late. He's also uh, flipping from a puppy to a doggy because he started marking his territory today. So I think that means I'm going to have to keep him away from the ladies. It's coming. Happens to the best of us. We're in an age of individualism. So rather than being part of the Borg and the collective and following everybody else's lead, I admire that some people take a different path. So today, I'm going to give some advice on how to be a low-value male. This may seem a bit folly to some and a bit counterintuitive to living a good life, but everything is relative. I have to apologize for the background noise. There seems to be a lot of military planes above. I find it quite cathartic to be out in the countryside and the only noise you hear is military planes, but they're really going at it today. Must be quite a few of them up there. Number one thing you need to do to be a low value male is to be unmotivated, lazy and entitled. Now there are essentially three unique actions, but they all roll into one. Motivation is the key to action and movement. And success usually comes by action. So if you're a very lazy, lazy person, this is going to be much easier to you than it is for most people. And actually, I don't think anybody's born lazy. I don't believe that. I think some people are just mentally weak. And they don't want to push themselves. So there's your first action you need to... What are we doing, mate? Sorry, I'm getting a bit distracted. He's really on the wonder at the moment. His hormones are kicking in everywhere. There's the first thing you need to do. Be unmotivated. Number two, be unhealthy. Now, I'm not talking about somebody having terrible bad luck like getting cancer or having things that you can't control. But being unhealthy with the hand that you've dealt. So you have a bad diet, you smoke too much, you drink too much. You're mentally weak, you don't um, give yourself and others around you the opportunity to, to act like a normal, rational person. Ask yourself a question. If there was a fire in a room and there was 10 people there, and be honest with yourself, if there was 10 average people in a room, would the other nine people be looking at you? Now I guarantee you, and this is gonna sound a little sexist, but I guarantee you, in a crisis like that, and I've been in similar ones, People are looking to a man, most times, to take charge, deal calmly with the situation, physically handle these situations as well as they can, and help everybody else before they help themselves. Women and children first, that motto still survives the realities of life. If you can't answer yes, they would look at you, you're almost certainly a low value man. And your health, if you're not getting out exercising a little bit, if you're not, if you're eating constantly, there's a guy on YouTube I keep seeing stuffing his face. It's actually sickening watching him how much he eats. There's other guys that are bedridden and they're bedridden out of inactivity. They become absolute sloths because of the ways, way they live their life. They weren't born that way. So be weak, physically and mentally. The next step, become an incel. Oh, they cut back the grass, so he's a little confused. It's funny how the, um, the darker nights now, he's getting his body clocks all messed up. Oh, no, come back. Good boy, good boy. Good, come here, let's go. Good boy. The, um, it gets, we're getting darker nights much earlier now, and it's messed him up. He knows when he eats, he knows when he walks, but I guess that's tuned into the, uh, the daylight, so he's, he's a bit confused by things, sleeping more as well. Yeah, become an insult. Because you've been rejected by women, because you presented yourself as a low value male. And let's put this into context. If you're in the bottom 5% of natural good looks, if you're five foot one, if you have a big nose, pointy forehead or whatever, you can't control those things. But you can get yourself in better shape, dress nicely, all these things that will raise your value. 
If you're not doing any of those things, and you can't meet a woman because of it, you'll become an incel. And if you're an incel, the next step is woman hatred, misogyny. That's part of it. Nobody's gonna self demonize themselves for their own failures. They'll blame everybody around them. Classic sign of being a low value male, hating women. Absolute classic sign. How are we, mate? We're still good? We're good? We are good. Jealousy. Have jealousy in your heart. If you're extremely jealous of people around you, not jealous enough to motivate yourself to do something, but jealous enough to snipe at them, their achievements, all the things they've done that you haven't because they worked harder than you, you're a great candidate to be a low value male. Always harp on about the past, always. Never think of the future. The future, it's out of your control. Just talk about the things that happened in the past and mostly focus on negative things that happened in the past. The girlfriend left you, you lost your job, a family feud. And feuding with family in general could be considered a low value male thing because you should be a problem solver. Well, that depends on your family, I guess. Not everybody's fortunate to have a stable lineage. Oh, let's have a look out here. Beautiful out here today. You have to, if you live in uh, Northern Europe as I do, you have to value these days. Because they won't be here for much longer. We'll still be out here, but we'll have a lot more clothing on and we'll be walking a lot faster. But enjoy it whilst you can. Guaranteed way to be a low value male. Irresponsibility, have children. Procreate, pass out their seed, but have no responsibility for them. Don't raise them. Don't be in your child's life. Now, I know there's times when women make it almost impossible for men to be in their children's lives. But I've seen almost every example of that. And there's very few ways you can't have a little bit of impact. So if you're out of your child's life, at some point you're culpable for that. If you're not supporting and providing your, for your child, consider yourself a low-value male. A man's job is to... Provide for those around him, protect them, nurture them, educate them, give them strength, be the calm voice in the room. If you're not doing any of those things, if you're entitled and you're ranting and expecting everybody to feel sorry for you, because you're a victim, victim mentality, classic sign of being a low value male. How many people are really victims in reality? How many people have had something happen to them so terrible that it will blight their life. And I know it has happened to people, but it's, it always seems to be the same kinds of people that blame everybody else, have this victim mentality. Grab a hundred victims. You'll probably find 10 victims of terrible offenses and 90 lazy people. Oh. And a final one, try to keep it less than 10 minutes. Overestimate your powers, but underestimate the effort. So if you're some fat slob who lays in a bed all day, can do nothing but talk on the internet, threaten people, act aggressive, say you're going to do that and this, sign in a lot of alt accounts on YouTube, intimidate people with scary words, people you wouldn't say boo to a goose to in real life. Great sign of it. Low value male. And as a bonus entry, make sure you surround yourself with other low value males. If you're always around people that are losers in life, there's a reason for that. Now you'll convince yourself you wanna be some sort of protector, but that's you attempting to elevate your status from their status to one above, a protector of the low value male. If you're always around those bumps, that's where you belong, that's where you fit. Look at the company you keep. Be honest with yourself. Would you consider eight of those 10 people low value males? Then you can almost guarantee at least nine of them are. Congratulations, 
have all the tips you need to be a low value male. More exciting tips coming soon.